Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I will show you how I was knitting diaper cover. The size will fit up to 4 months, maybe 5 and even 6. In the PDF file you will find measurements for babies and kids up to uh, 7 uh, years old and how to calculate the shorts according to your gauge. For this diaper cover you will need two pairs of knitting needles for the main parts 3.5 millimeters and for the ribbon only here at the bottom I was using three millimeters and of course it is better to use double pointed or use circular needles and magic loop method. For the ties, if you are interested, I was using simple beads. You may find them in any uh, dollar store or thrift store. And yarn I was using today, Bernard Yarn Softy Baby. It is 100% acrylic yarn and the weight is light. If you are going to follow my pattern, my video tutorial, then try to find light yarn. If you are going to make your own calculations, then use any yarn. And I would of course use merino wool yarn for newborns. That's basically it. If you are ready, let's do it together. And we will start with provisional cast on for this using hook and yarn of another color, make a chain and chain more than required number of stitches. For example, I need to cast on 88 stitches, so chain 95, for example. We are going to work through back ridges here, here, here. Take the main yarn and start picking up. Skip a couple of chains at the beginning and cast on 88 stitches. You may use and help yourself with hook. Through the back ridge. This is two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Please go on picking up in total eighty eight stitches. So that's what I have. Now we are going to join and knit in rounds. Check that all your stitches are looking in, in one direction and are not twisted. We start knitting ribbon. Place stitch marker. Knit two.
Roll two. And again, knit two. Purl two. Knit two. Purl two. Knit two purl two till the end. Till the stitch marker. And now we will go on repeating. Ribbon, knit two, purl two. 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 Go on ribbon till the end of this round and then repeat knit two purl two until piece reaches eight or nine centimeters. Here I am, here is my ribbon. Let's measure it. Eight and half centimeters. Now we are going to join unravel the provisional cast on and join first and last rounds. So let's start from here. Cut, take another pair of knitting needles. And you will need to pick up the same number, 88 stitches. So here is the first stitch. Let's cut more. First. Second, one by one, do not hurry. Second, third, fourth, fifth. and so on. Go on till the end. That's it. Please recalculate all your stitches. And now let's join first and last round. Fold the piece in this way so that the working yarn coming from the first needle and let's need first stitch from the first needle and first stitch from the second needle together and repeat first stitch here and first stitch there 
we need to together. We need to together. We need to together and again we need to together Need to together. Need to together. If you see that. The stitch is turned, turn it back. So go on joining first and last round till the end. Here I placed yellow stitch marker, it showed me uh, the half. So count 44 stitches and place your stitch marker. So just divide all stitches in half. Here I am, that's what I have and from this point we start working short rows. So what we are going to do, first of all knit till the yellow stitch marker and on the back part we will place other stitch markers, I will show you how many and we will work short rows back and forth. Why we will do it? We want to make back part longer than the front one and when the baby wears diaper so it will cover the whole bottom part. So now knit 44, knit till the yellow stitch marker. You remember yellow stitch marker means the half of all stitches. Now let's place stitch markers. So count three stitches and place first stitch marker. Then count four, place stitch marker. Then count again four and place stitch marker. Again count four, place stitch marker, so three, four, four, four. Now count 14 stitches in the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, place stitch marker. And now again count four, place stitch marker. Count four again, place stitch marker, count four again, place stitch marker and at the end 
you will have three stitches. And now we will work in rows. What we will do, we will need first kill the red stitch marker from here till red stitch marker, then turn and work till this green stitch marker, then turn again and knit till green, turn till blue, turn till yellow, turn till green, do this green, turn to the violet, and then we will return to the beginning of the round. So let's get started. Now knit until you reach red stitch marker and stop one stitch before the stitch marker. So in total, if I'm not mistaken, knit 28. Now, one stitch before the stitch marker, bring the working yarn in front and slip the stitch, bring the working yarn in back. Now, yarn in this case in front is in front, slip back stitch and you wrap with your working yarn the slip stitch. Now, purl all stitches and stop one stitch before next green stitch marker. In the same way, holding working yarn in front, slip the next stitch. Now bring working yarn in back, turn and wrap the slip stitch in this way, return back, stitch to the right hand needle and knit again until you reach the slip stitch. Here is the wrap stitch and the wrap. Turn the stitch, it will be easier to knit. Now pick up wrap and place it on the left hand needle. After that, knit together with wrap stitch. Remove wrap stitch marker and knit until next stitch marker and stop one stitch before. So knit three in my case. And let's repeat. Slip next stitch holding working yarn in front, bring the yarn back, turn and return stitch to the right hand needle. Now purl all stitches until the wrapped stitch. So here is the wrap stitch and wrap, pick up wrap on the wrong side from back, place it again to the left hand needle and purl together, purl two together, remove stitch marker and purl three. Stop one stitch before next stitch marker 
holding working yarn in front, skip the next stitch, turn, flip back stitch to the right hand needle and knit till the next wrap stitch. Here is wrap stitch. Let's turn it, pick up wrap and place it on the left hand needle. And now knit together through the back loop so it's easier. Like this we hide wrap and get rid of all. Go on knitting till the next stitch markers. Stop one stitch before slip the next stitch, turn, return back and purl all other stitches to the next wrap stitch and wrap. Here is wrap stitch, pick up wrap, place it on the left hand needle and purl two together. Remove this stitch marker and purl three again. Stop one stitch before next stitch marker, slip, turn, wrap the stitch return back and knit all stitches till the next wrapped stitch. Here is wrap stitch, turn it, pick up wrap, place it on the left hand needle and knit two together through the, through the back loop. Go on knit until the next stitch marker, so knit three. And again, bring the working yarn in front, slip, turn, return back. return back and purl all stitches until the next wrap. So here is the wrap stitch, pick up wrap and purl two together, remove stitch marker, purl three, one, two, three, 
slip turn wrap slip back and knit again till the next wrap and wrapped stitch Pick up, turn the stitch, pick up, wrap, and knit two together. Remove this stitch marker. And now we have last three stitches. So knit three, sorry, knit two, slip the stitch, turn, slip back and purl all other stitches to the next wrap. Now pick up wrap and purl two together. Remove stitch marker. Now we have also three stitches from this side. So purl two, slip next stitch, wrap it, turn, return the stitch. And again go on knitting. Need this stitch as well. Pick up wrap, turn, pick up wrap, and knit two together. So now we are at the beginning. In the next round, we will start making increases. Now look, the back part is longer than the front one, of course. So now we will work in rounds again and we still have one wrap and wrap stitch. So now you need to divide all your stitches in half. So I still have my yellow stitch marker, so 44 stitches and find four central stitches. If you have 
odd number, find three central stitches. So in my case, count 20 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And place first stitch marker. Then count four stitches. And place second stitch marker. So we have we have same 20 stitches here and four central stitches. Repeat for the back part count we still have a wrap here. Don't forget, we will need it later. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place stitch marker. Count four and place, place fourth stitch marker. Let's count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Everything is correct. Now knit twenty or until first stitch marker. Now make left lifted increase. Insert left hand needle from back to front into the stitch two rows below the one you just needed on the right hand needle. Lift it to the left hand needle and without twisting knit it. So like it's through the back loop. Now knit four and after red stitch marker make right lifted increase. Insert your needle again from back to front into the stitch one row below the first stitch on the left hand needle and knit it and knit the next stitch. So we did increases. Go on knitting all other stitches till the next stitch markers. This is center and as you remember after the center we have wrap and wrap stitch here it is so pick up wrap don't forget to turn the stitch now pick up wrap everything what we did before and need to together so there will be no fall here after go on knitting till the next till the third sti stitch marker And now again left lifted increase insert left hand needle two rows below and knit now knit four and after the fourth stitch marker make right lifted increase 
So we need this stitch and next one. There will be no holes, no worries. And all other stitches till the end. Perfect. Now next three rounds knit without increases. So just knit in stocking and stitch next three rounds. Here I am, that's what I have. I've done three rounds without increases. And now in the next round we will make again increase. Knit till the stitch marker. Again, left lifted increase before stitch marker, come back to front and knit. Then knit four, and after the, the next, the second stitch marker, make right lifted increase and go on knitting till the back part needle stitches the same repeat left lifted increase right lifted increase knit till the end then three rounds without increases and in this way go on repeating one round with increases three rounds without increases until the back part reaches without ribbing reaches 14 centimeters measurements for the other side you may find in pdf file here i am and that's what i have if i'm not mistaken i've done in total eight increases so eight rounds with increases. Let's measure, as I said, 14 centimeters. Okay, maybe a little bit more, 14 and half, but it's okay, no worries. Now it's time to start knitting gusset. So for the gusset, just Take your ruler and measure six centimeters in the center. So find the central center, place it here. And the same here. And check how many st stitches you have. So five here and five here. So in total, 14 stitches. Now you need to one, two, three, four, five, place stitch markers. So count five stitches from, from one stitch marker and five stitches from another stitch marker. So in total now in the center you have 14 stitches or six centimeters for their gusset. 
and now we will need only the gusset part need all stitches till the first stitch marker Okay, here is the start of the gusset. Next 14 stitches till the yellow stitch marker. Need 13. Remove this stitch marker, we don't need it anymore. And remove also red stitch marker. And the last stitch purled. Turn, slip first stitch, and purl all other stitches till the end. Till the stitch marker. Great turn. Now we need to decrease one stitch at the beginning, so make slip knit pass over, knit 10, And now also decrease, make slip knit, pass over. So now we have instead of 14, only 12 stitches. Slip the first stitch and purl all stitches till the stitch marker. turn and let's repeat again. Let's decrease two more stitches, slip, knit, pass over, now knit eight, and again slip, knit, pass over, Turn, slip the first stitch and throw all stitches. Great. Turn. Next two rows knit without decreases. Slip the first stitch and knit nine, even the last one. Turn. Slip and roll. Nine. That's it. Gusset is ready. At this moment, it should measure about three centimeters. 
if you find it less you may need a couple more rows without a uh, couple more rows without decreases now you need a waste yarn or stitch holder strip all 10 stitches and we will repeat everything for the back part, what we have just done. Here it is, let me measure, and you see 3 centimeters, sorry, Remove stitch markers, prepare again yarn needle and, and the scrap yarn, we will use it to slip all other stitches till the next stitch marker, central stitch marker, and again you need to find 14 central stitches, so count 5 to the right and five to the left. Great. Now let's slip all these stitches till the purple stitch marker. We will remove blue and green one. So let's slip Okay, till this point. Here, cut the yarn. And let's repeat everything what we did for the front part of the gusset. Need thirteen You can remove green and blue stitch stitch markers, you don't need them anymore. Turn.
and pro all other stitches. Turn. Now let's decrease one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end. So slip knit this over. Knit all other stitches until you have two. And at the end again slip knit this over turn slip and row all other stitches Turn again, make decreases at the beginning and at the end here and here, then throw those stitches and then knit two rows without decreases. So here I am, and now it's time to craft open stitches of the gusset together for this. Remove waste yarn and place all stitches back to the double pointed needle. Cut the yarn leaving long tail and you will need a yarn needle here. Thread the tail. And let's get started. So the working yarn is coming from the nearest needle. First insert the needle into the first stitch here as if to knit and then insert the needle into the first stitch on the nearest needle as if to pull. So that's how we started. Now Return back to the second needle and insert the needle as if to roll and drop it and right away insert the needle as if to knit into the next stitch. Here insert the needle as if to knit and drop it over the needle and right away insert the needle as if to roll into the second stitch. And let's repeat. Insert the needle as if to curl and drop it. Then insert the needle as if to knit and leave it. Here we start. Insert the needle as if to knit and drop. And then as if to curl into the next stitch. Let's go on repeating. Insert the needle as if to curl here and as if to knit into the next stitch. 
now insert the needle as if to knit drop and then as if to purl into the next stitch so that's what we have let's repeat again as if to purl drop as if to knit as if to knit as if to purl and again as if to purl then as if to knit as if to knit and as if to purl and that's how the gusset is looking now and again as if to knit and then as if to purl please go on and finish sewing gusset here i am that's what i have leaf tails we might need them in case you will get some holes but no worries, you will not. Now we need to pick up stitches along the gusset and start knitting first leg. And then we will repeat everything for the second leg. Let's attach yarn. So I'm doing it in this way, just one stitch below here. And make a knot. Great. Now you need to switch to three millimeters knitting needles. I'm using double pointed. And let's start picking up stitches along the gusset. So insert the needle into the same stitch here, underneath, I mean, where we just did a knot, and along the edge. Just find the place that there will be no big holes. So here are our sewage stitches. I do recommend insert the needle not into the sewage stitch, but in between. So if you insert it in sewage stitch, it looks like a big hole. So just a little bit here, this way. Yes. 
So if you don't like something, you just unravel it and pick up stitches again, again. Help yourself with hook if you need it. So not bad. Go on picking up all stitches here. The total number of stitches of the whole leg has to be divisible by four. So add more stitches or you may decrease two or one stitch in the next round. So just make them divisible by four. Now knit all other stitches of the right leg. Please go on knitting all stitches. So I redistributed all my stitches between three needles, so it's easier for me. And now we start knitting ribbon. Ribbon knit two, purl two. And again, knit two, purl two. That's why the number has to be divisible by four. Knit two, purl two. Please go on ribbing till the end and after that rib 9 more rounds, so in total 10. Here I am, that's what I have. And now we will make a smooth transfer from ribbing knit 2 purl 2 to ribbing knit 1 purl 1. So what we are doing Need first stitch. The second stitch has to be purl because we are going to switch to maybe need one purl one. So purl and we see purl stitch here. So let's pick it up in back, drop the second, then place it back to the left hand needle and place purl stitch. Now purl stitch is the first stitch and we need exactly purl stitch. So purl it after that, knit and purl. So that's what we are going to repeat. Knit one. Now you need to swap knit and purl stitch in this way. In back, pick up purl stitch, drop knit stitch and right away return it back to the left hand needle and return back purl stitch. Purl one, then knit one, and then purl one. Again, knit one, swap next two stitches in this way. Place it back, purl one, knit one, and purl one. Let's do it again. Knit one, swap next two stitches.
nice and back. Curl one, knit one, curl one. So I hope it's clear. Please go on and finish this round. Okay, that's what I have. Next round, slip the first stitch without knitting, folding, working yarn in back and then curl one. Then repeat again. Slip, next stitch, holding, working, yarn in back and curl one. Slip, curl one. Slip, curl one. Slip, curl one. Slip, curl one. And so on. Please go on knit until the end. In the next round we will do everything vice versa. Knit first stitch and then holding working yarn in front, slip the next stitch. Knit next stitch and pro stitch, slip holding working yarn in front. And again, knit slip. Knit slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. Let's go on and finish this round. That's it. Now cut the yarn leaving Really long tail. I would say it's more than a meter. Now we are going to bind off all stitches using yarn needle. If you want, you may use just a normal bind off method without yarn needle. I will show you how I'm going to do. First of all, take a stitch marker and place it on the first and second stitches. We are doing it when we need to join at the end. We will need first and second stitch, so it will be easier to find them. So now what you are doing, insert your needle into the first knit stitch as if to knit and drop it off the needle. Now skip pearl stitch and insert the needle into the, the next knit stitch as if to pearl. So we need to unite knit and knit stitch and then pearl and pearl stitch. Like this. Now insert the needle into the pearl stitch as if to pearl and drop it off the needle. And now what you need to do, you will work with this stitch, with next pearl stitch, skip knit stitch and insert the needle from back to front and then into the pearl stitch in this way, like as if to knit into the pearl stitch. It might, might be hard at the beginning, but that's only what we are going to repeat. And let's repeat again. Knit stitch, next stitch. So insert the needle as if to knit into the knit stitch and drop it off the needle. Then skip pearl stitch and as if to pearl into the next knit stitch. Be careful here.
Now insert the needle as if to purl into the purl stitch. Drop purl stitch of the needle. And then from back to front, insert the needle into the purl stitch as if to knit in this way. And let's repeat again. As if to knit, skip next stitch and as if to purl. Don't forget to drop first stitch always. Then purl stitch as if to purl, then skip next knit stitch and into the purl stitch insert the needle as if to knit. Wait. Again, between first and second and into the second this way. Okay. And pull. Not clear as yet. So let's repeat. As if to knit, drop and as if to purl. Now as if to purl and here as if to knit but from back to front. And pull. Let's do it a little bit faster. And purl. In this way. Look at this beautiful edge. Please go on till the very end. So that's what I have and that how it is looking now. Not bad. Now let's finish. I still have two stitches on my needle. So as if to knit. And we need to find first knit stitch and insert as if to purl. Here it is. It's a little bit turned already. Here. Oops, sorry. Okay, now as if to throw here, and you need find. Pearl stitch, second pearl stitch from back to front. So pearl stitch on the wrong side will look like a knit stitch. And in between like this. Let's remove stitch marker. Pull a little bit. And that's what we have at the end. Now you need to repeat everything for the left leg. 
for the left leg. Don't forget to pick up the same, the same number of stitches. Ribbon need to curl two, then ribbon need one, and then bind off in the same way. Here I am, that's how the diaper cover is looking now. So I've done already an eye cord, I'm going to show you it now. When I cord, I'm using three millimeters into needles and cast on four stitches. Four, you may cast on three stitches if you are using heavier yarn. Slide all stitches to the right side. So the working yarn is coming from the last stitch and just knit all stitches, knit four. Perfect. Do not turn, slide again to the right side all your stitches and again knit four. Great, slide to the right, need four. Slide to the right, need four. Really easy. You see, the working yarn is coming from the last stitch. Slide to the right and need four. Oops. And so on. If I'm not mistaken, I've done the length of my eye cord about 80 centimeters but you you can always measure it if you see it's too long don't do them too long and of course i added beads and i made knots at at the end as you may see don't forget to wash your trousers and dry them flat thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me i hope you enjoyed it Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. The written instructions you can find on my blog. Don't be shy to leave me a comment if you have any questions. I wish you all a good day and see you soon.